Hello again. Today I'm going to show you um, how to uh, lay down a uh, carpet yourself on a in a room on a concrete floor. Yeah, we've got concrete floor uh, in this room, and uh, this is going to be done by uh, uh, gluing the underlay on the top of the concrete floor and then gluing the carpet on the top of the underlay. So I like to call this one double stick. And for this uh, reason, we're going to use our beloved spray adhesive, which is a uh, known product already. And you can use it for a lot of stuff in the floor laying business. So spray glue uh, for the for gluing the underlay and the carpet obviously uh, your Stanley knife with sharp blades and for the carpet itself bolster which could be a metal one or a plastic as well there is plastic bolsters on the market I will include in the description uh, probably a link uh, I don't have it right now with me but uh, next time I'm going to show you uh, it does the same job like the metal one, but it's uh, uh, more harmless to the uh, paint work on the uh, around the skirtings. So you can, uh, for the carpet, we're going to use a bolster, or if you don't want to spend any money and you're having only a small job to do, you can use a floor scraper, which is quite sharp, but still being careful, you can uh, manage the job with this floor scraper as well. So basically I'm going to start now with the underlay. I'm going to lay it on the floor. I'm going to spray glue. I'm going to stick it on the floor and then we're going to carry on with the carpet. Okay. The underlay we have this job is this one. What we need to do is to cut it to size. We need to be a bit longer. What are we going to do right now is to cover the whole floor area with the underlay itself, with no gaps, nothing. So it's going to be skirting to skirting, wall to wall. There will be no gaps from the underlay to the skirting. And I'm going to show you why. This is one way of spraying or actually gluing the underlay on the floor you just spray and spread the underlay like this around the skirtings you have to be very gentle and careful not to spray over the skirting so very gently around the skirting and spray in the middle and you just roll it over gently around the skirtings spray the rest knife with a sharp blade 45 degrees you actually you're sticking your knife into the corner created by the floor and the skirting this corner and press it hard 45 degrees 
into the corner and pressing hard. It's not complicated. And I think everyone with a little bit of knowledge and determined to to do the jobs around the house on their own can do pretty much everything I run out of glue I'm gonna get another can of glue and gently around the skirtings And again, 45 degrees, and press R. Now I'm going to prick up some pieces for this part. pieces and then I'm gonna need a slightly bigger one there again the same procedure gluing down the leg spraying glue on the floor Five degrees into the corner and press hard. More glue. And the last piece. This corner, what we're trying to do here is to allow the underlay to go on the both sides of this corner and then we bring pretty much the same thing. So now I'm going to show you how to cut the underlay when you need to basically lay down two pieces, one next to uh, uh, another. <coughs> Sorry. 
and uh, this is very easy by following the uh, shape of uh, the top piece this is what you, you, you do with your Stanley knife you follow the shape of the top piece you remove the bottom one the bottom one you spray glue and job done And this is our underlay ready in the room with the concrete floor and the next step will be carpet. I'm going to show you how to open the carpet inside the room and how we're going to glue it on the top of the underlay. Okay now it's time, it's time for the carpet. We're going to glue the carpet on the top of the underlay. This is the carpet going in this room. Now we're going to open the carpet and make sure that the carpet is going to cover all the floor in the room. Even if the room is different shape than a square, you have to be careful with all these places where the carpet needs to go. Quickly opening the room carpet. Making sure it's gonna go all the way. Now, what we need to do, we need to fix the carpet on the top of the underlay, again with the use of spray adhesive, and this is how we're going to do this. Pretty much the same like the underlay, very careful and gently around the sides. And in the middle. Be careful not to go on the glue. And that's more than enough. Now what we need to do. Is to lay down the carpet on the top of the glue. and then press it down to the floor and try to get rid of all the creases and the small bubbles where there is actually air trapped underneath the carpet we make a, a quick corner to allow the carpet to go into the corner I'm going to show you now again just want to trim this access carpet off keep on pressing it down where the glue is And as I showed you before in my previous videos, we are making these corners to allow the carpet to go all the way inside the corner. So we fold the carpet, we 
mark where the corner is we trim the carpet towards us and then we make a, a 90 degree cut and this is actually creates a corner now we can use bolster plastic or metal doesn't matter or I'm gonna use a floor scraper because you can actually complete this job with with the floor scraper as well I'm pressing the carpet down to allow it to go all the way up to the skirting and then I fold it like this and I try to cut on the edge created from the bolster or the scraper we've used it doesn't matter if you cut it straight or not but the idea is actually this access bit to go in between the skirting and the underlay just be careful with the tools you're using because you might scratch the skirting board and then you have to touch up I think the best way if someone wants to undertake a job like this one at home my advice is purchase at least a plastic bolster which is quite cheap you can you can buy it from uh, 7 8 pounds to 12 13 15 pounds and it's quite a good tool because uh, all flooring related jobs you can do with this plastic bolster and also plastic bolster is harmful to the paint job and it's actually recommended where new paint is being done in order not to scratch the the paint so pretty much carry on Just checking if all the carpet has been tucked in. And I'm going to do this side. And again very slowly you can see you can see the edge of the carpet and I'm cutting just a little bit above the edge slowly you can complete the whole thing And it's not and it's not that difficult.
here what I'm going to do for this corner I'm going to cut the carpet like this and then this is more complicated for the cupboard I'm trying to keep the, the piece for the cupboard I'm going to show you how to do the cupboard after that I'm going to cut, I'm going to trim this axis off and then I'm going to glue this part of the room pretty much the same way like I've glued the the other, the other side careful now there is glue everywhere like we've done on the other side of the room we have to press the carpet down to the floor and we're trying to get all these creases and bubbles out another corner like we usually do 90 degree cut and two more this side where the door is and this is going inside the cupboard there is no need underlay inside the cupboard that's why there isn't any but this is another thing just gonna show you how to complete the, the job cutting around the doors slowly Surely And this is the last part. I'm gonna show you in one, one of my other videos how to do pretty much the same with a hook blade. It's a bit quicker, 
But what I don't like about the hook blades is you need to buy them specially for this purpose. And you can't use them for anything else. And these straight blades, normal standard blades, you can use them for uh, cutting pretty much any material. But the hooked ones are mostly for flooring. So around the door, we open the door. And let me show you what we have achieved in this room. I don't know if you can see, but the carpet is pretty flat. There is no bubbles, no creases, nothing. And the finish also is quite good. And this is only by using this is only by using glue and a floor scraper or better if you've got metal or plastic bolster. This is all from me for now. Thank you for watching my videos. If you've got any questions or comments, please uh, let me know and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.